Hey guys, it's May May, and tonight we are going to do a fun teacher slash bus driver gift. I'm going to show you both. My friend Rustic Crochet here on YouTube asked me if I could give an idea for a teacher or bus driver gift. And so here's what I did. First, I racked my brain, because that's what we do, right? I thought and thought and thought, what can we do, what can we do? And then I decided I have been a Sunday school teacher for the majority of my life. And I thought, I'm going to do something that was my favorite gift I got as a Sunday school teacher. I love this. It's not groundbreaking. You've seen them all over Pinterest. But when I got it, I fell in love with it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So here's what you're going to need. You will need a picture frame. This one is an eight and a half by 11. So it's kind of big, and I'm going to try to keep it in the frame for you. But we'll probably just be doing pieces and parts of it for a little bit. You're also going to need the glass that comes in it. I took mine out to clean it. Of course, it's not so great, is it? But... I tried to clean it, and it's still kind of fingerprinty, but you'll need the glass. I've got that sitting to the side so I don't cut myself with that. You're going to need some notebook lined paper. Now, you have a couple options here. You can use regular lined notebook paper. If you do, I would suggest that you use two or three pieces and stack them together so you get a good opacity of the white. Because, you know, regular lined paper is probably going to let the back of this brown frame um, show through. This is actually from... Hobby Lobby and it's in the scrapbook section and they had it on sale today and I got this for 14 cents a sheet So I just went ahead and got some of this and plus I love how deep red and dark blue the lines are So I'm gonna use that and then I went and got these now I purchased these because they are wood and I thought they were super cute. This one was 67 cents. This one was 99 cents and you don't have to do this you could do this with paper or any other thing you have that's like this but I thought the wood would be really cute on the frame you're going to need marker board markers of your choice. You can use just black or white, I mean, just black ones or colored ones, whatever you want. You'll just need one per frame. And you're going to need a little bit of ribbon to do what I'm doing today. Now, it may seem expensive, but when we're done, I'm going to tell you how much everything cost and what I was able to do this one for. So the first thing first, my frame was not black. I suggest you just go to the Dollar Tree and buy a black frame. But I had to paint my frame. So I painted my frame black because I'm recycling something from my stash i kind of keep these when i'm through with them for pictures or if i've changed them out i just put these in a stash and keep them because i know i can use them so i just painted this frame black and the first thing we're going to do is take this here paper and we're going to frame it now you may have to cut it down let's look at the glass all the glare is going to be rough but you can see that this paper is way too big for this glass so what i suggest that you do is just lay the glass on the paper and cut it out now the reason i'm doing this is because i want to make sure that i get all of this edge which is really pretty with the red line so i'm going to do this and then i'm going to trace it oh you know what let's save a step let's exacto it and this way it'll just be done done and done see how fast that was now we put this into the frame it continues being quick and easy I'm going to take the paper and slide it in because I know it's going to be right now because it fits my glass. Now you don't have to use notebook style paper here. If you're making this for someone that's not a teacher or you don't want this look about it, you can use any kind of paper you want. And now you'll close up your frame just like it's supposed to be. And there you go. So now you have this cute little black framed piece of notebook paper. I'm going to move this away for just a second. And I forgot to mention you're going to need a hot glue gun because we're going to hot glue those little elements on. But first, I'm going to tie a bow out of this ribbon. I'm going to do it in the bunny ear style, which is super easy. And you decide how long you want your tails to be. I kind of like them not too long because I don't want it to look, I, I kind of want it to look, you know, proportion, proportional with this ribbon. So I'm going to go something like that. And then... Sneak peek, guys. See what I got? <laughs> Very excited about these. Now I'm just going to cut these to be about the same. Do you see how sharp those are? Mm, review coming soon, guys. Okay, so bring this guy back over. In this top corner where the paper starts, I'm going to glue this bow down and just kind of wrinkle it up like that. So first, I'm going to glue the bow itself in this corner. just like so and 
and then I'm going to wrinkle this. When I was teaching, I got this as a gift from one of my students. Um, but it wasn't like this. It was done in a zebra style. Can you imagine? Because everybody knows I love zebra, right? So she did zebra ribbon, and then she did a little zebra, um, a little paper inside to match zebra. And I just loved this little gift. See, I just kind of wiggled that up. Just put two dots of hot glue, about an inch apart. Put a little loop under the first one and tuck it. Same thing for the second one. As loopy as you want it. I just think it's super cute. And now the final part. It's so easy, guys. I'm going to see if I can get this where you can see it. Yeah, here's the bottom we're going to work on. Now for a school bus driver, this little guy is the perfect piece for here. The only thing you want to be sure of is that you line up the bottom edge. You want to make sure that it's not, let me turn it. You want to make sure that it clears the bottom so you don't have it hanging like this because your frame might not sit up well. So just make sure you get that where your frame can sit up. And I do think it's cute hanging off one edge. And if you were doing it for a teacher gift, look at this. Do you see how cute that is on the side? So glue down the one you're using. I'm going to use the bus driver one because I think it is so cute, this little bus. And I'm actually going to put glue on the frame so I know it's getting where I need it. Stick this little guy down. How cute is that? Now then, you'll want to have a place to put your marker for whoever you're giving it to. So we're gonna make a little place using a piece of our scrap ribbon. And I'm going to trim it up to be even. And then I'm just gonna make a loop out of it and hot glue it. Now if this scares you to hot glue like this on ribbon, you can use regular wet glue. Just kind of put a clothespin on it to hold it to dry. I'm just using a low temp and being very careful. And then, decide which side you want your marker on. I think I want it on this side. So I'm going to put this guy here, like so. And the idea behind this is, and it probably won't work when it's sitting down, but they can slide a marker in there, and when it's standing up, it'll hold in that little spot. Isn't that cute? I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see it. How simple and easy. Now, when you give this to the person, I thought, so using one of the markers, how about I really appreciate you and then you can write your name how cute is that I'm gonna fix these E's they didn't work well I don't know why I think there was something on my marker <laughs> and you can be this picky I really appreciate you and then when you give this to the person oops I put my marker up I need to put it in the container here where we have it. And then when you give this to the person, they get a gift and a card at the same time. So let's talk about how much it cost. My frame was a dollar, okay? This was 69 cents. The ribbon was from my stash, or you could buy a dollar roll of ribbon and probably get five or six frames out of it. But I'm gonna say this was a quarter, just to be safe. My paper was 14 cents, and then I had these markers in my stash, but again, if you bought a pack of these at the Dollar Tree, there's another dollar. So for less than $3, you've made a cute little gift for someone, a bus driver, or if you did the Apple, you have a teacher. I hope that helped. I know that um, this is not groundbreaking. You guys have seen it before, but how quick is that and easy? Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on Monday with another May May Made It video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.